And now let me ask you a couple of things about what's going on over there. I, yes. I listened to my friends, Allie and Bean. They've got their great podcast, A Cup of Tea and a Chat with Allie and Bean. And uh, and I also see the news there, uh, but they, they're speaking about the weather over there. And mm. is, it, is yes. it still bananas hot? No, it was only two days. And it was, um, since I live in Brighton, I'm like an, I'm, usually 10 degrees colder than London, right? So London was like 105, here it was 95. However, yeah, all these Charles Dickens ass buildings, you know why I got <laughs> like AC? They're old as shit and they're built to stay warm in the summer. So it was unbelievably miserable. It was bad. Because there's no ventilation. Again, I live in a 150 year old building and all the news was giving tips of like, you know, you keep your windows closed, like keep them closed, keep the shades drawn because, you know, it was just like hot. I'm like, how is there hot wind? First of all, how's that a possibility? So hot wind was blowing. So yeah, I kept all the windows down, the shades drawn, but my little thermostat thing, like it was like 88 degrees inside of my house. It's hot. So I was just, yeah. And when I went to take the trash out at the end of the first night, as I'm walking down, it's like everybody, you know, who lived on street level in apartments, every single person's in their underwear on their couch. <laughs> like right. I'm walking by going, cool, <laughs> checking all y'all out in your drawers because it's so hot. Um, yeah, it was miserable. It was miserable. But, you know, it's because, yeah, nobody here is equipped for that kind. It's never that hot here. It was literally the hottest days on record in the history of record keeping. And then, of course, my parents in Georgia you know, they're texting me going, it's not a big deal because of course it's not a big deal in Georgia. But I'm like, yeah, that's because even the most rickety ass buildings in Georgia have air conditioning. Like, yeah, no one here was prepared for it. It was really gross. You know what you say back to that, April? It's like, great. Get a little snow dusting in Georgia and see how you fucking handle <laughs> yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> like it totally shuts down. Right, one exactly. snowflake and it's like shut down. Right. So this, yeah. is, the, this is your version of that. Yeah. So mind your business, Richardson's. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I tried to tell my because I was like trains no joke trains were canceled because the train tracks were melting these are hot tracks yes they're just like we can't take like the trains will derail if too many people are on them and put the pressure on the tracks that are literally melting in the sun because we're not prepared for this kind of sun so it was two days it was monday and tuesday that were just unbearable i didn't sleep like i had to stay downstairs and i had a fan you know like two feet away from me at full blast and it still was just miserable but it, yeah so it was it was like 48 hours and then all of a sudden it rained and that just immediately reset everything oh, so it was just two days but what in about, london yeah it was like triple digits it was unheard of what if i was to put a penny on those train tracks on one of those days would that be a good day to do that or a bad day to do that is that the best day to do that or the worst day what, what it, do you want? Do you want the penny? Exactly. Or do you want the track to now have pennies in it? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah, because right, the penny might just go right into the track. That'd be pretty cool, though, right? I think it'd be or would it be like, um, cool. you know, like it, the penny in the tracks would just become what? What if it would patch it? It might like patch it, right? Like the copper of the... What, what are these tracks? Know. Licorice? Like, how are they? <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah, these are licorice seen tracks. A, I've never seen a penny melt in, in like Arizona. I've One thing here is they... Licorice tracks. <laughs> They seem to like go, you know how like America's obsessed with like the founding fathers. They're just like the founding fathers. And you want to go, yeah, that was a uh, 200 something years ago. We don't need to talk about them anymore. In England, they're sort of like, well, we built this thing 200 years ago. It never needs to be remodeled. Mm. Like we got it guys. And I'm like, you guys know, you can update things. You can remodel but what they them. And too? What, what, uh, to Elliot's point and Matt Belknap's point with the licorice, you uh, <laughs> you don't hear stories in Arizona that they have to stop the trains because the the, tra the, the train is melting, the track melt. Are there trains in Arizona? Sure. I bet you there is. I bet you there's a an Amtrak that goes through Arizona. Like cargo there, trains? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I no, don't not know. a cargo just... Human beings will go to, to, to Phoenix. <laughs> On a train. From where? From anywhere in the goddamn country. Why do you think Arizona is <laughs> against trains? I don't think Arizona specifically is, but there's not a lot of train travel. When do you ever hear of people going, hey, I'm going to go on the train to this other city? Hang that on doesn't a second. happen that often. If I may, I think Elliot Holberg took the train to Arizona. Didn't you, Elliot, at one point? Uh, I took a bus to Arizona. I took you the took train. I took the train through oh. the south, through the south, and then up to uh, uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah like, my, my family used to take the train to Florida. Not from me. where? From the, from the northeast, from New England. All right, I so I will... I will tell you that there are at least three Amtrak stations in Arizona, Maricopa, okay. Flagstaff, and Tucson. I don't know what route that is. Oh, not Damn. Okay. 
Look, I'm not saying trains don't exist. I'm just saying it's obviously a way less common way to travel sure. in the States. Are like, you I saying don't... trains are a hoax? Trains are a hoax, <laughs> and I'm here. Thank you for giving me a platform. You're welcome. To finally get the message out. A train platform. Trains <laughs> do not exist. To hear the whole conversation, subscribe for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts, or visit nevernotfunny.com.